Welcome back to another Access Centre 2 video and in today's video I'm back with another interview and I'm here with Joshua Wisher. Joshua, how are we? I'm good, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Thank you very much for doing this. Um, Anytime, bro. And so, am I right in saying you're a 24-year-old super middleweight who's 2-0? Um, I will, in the near future, I'll be looking to um, come down to middleweight as well. Ah, right, okay. Well, uh, yes, for, for, that is good to see that I've got that right for the moment. If you are new around here yeah. and you haven't subscribed, please do so like the video if you do need like the video. And let's get straight into it. So, the question which I always like to start off with, why did you start boxing? Well, I started boxing when I was about 14 because um, I was in a bit of trouble at school and I just wanted to be able to, not beat beating people, but I just wanted to, like, you know, get a lot better at, you know, being able to defend myself, really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and obviously then if anyone it came to attack me then I can sort of like I know how to put my hands up and, mm. and block it and stuff mm -hmm. it's all really yeah self defence that is completely fair yeah. and so do you remember what happened in your first amateur fight yeah in my first amateur fight um, I can't remember the um, the name of the guy who I fought mm -hmm. to be honest mm -hmm. but um, I was 16 year old and um he had. I remember I, obviously my first fight, and he'd had four fights. He'd uh, won two, lost two, mm -hmm. and um, it was a really good fight. But I managed to. I was so nervous. I've never been so nervous before. And uh, even the third round, I managed to just put on a ten, twelve punch combination, mm -hmm. and I managed. The referee stopped the fight. Mm -hmm. uh, I managed to get the stoppage win. So I was obviously really buzzing. Sixteen year old, you know, one and oh, one one technical knockout. I was. Um, yeah, it was a really good experience. That that was um, Jewsbury Town Hall. Right, yeah, that is that is good to hear. And so, what was your biggest achievement from your amateur career? I won the um, 69 kilos Yorkshire champion mm -hmm. in Wakefield. And uh, I also won the 75 y uh, Yorkshire belt as well um, mm -hmm. a couple of years later. Mm -hmm. So that was uh, my biggest achievement. I never got a chance to really go any further mm -hmm. than that. But um, I'd believe I would have I would have been able to do it but just things happened you know we had obviously everything that happened a couple of years ago with yeah, Covid yeah. and all that it's uh, kind of stopped everything mm -hmm. and so was that the kind of main reason why you turned over when you did yeah exactly um, mm. I turned over I, I had a lot of time to reflect obviously everyone had a lot of time and uh, I was just thinking well this makes sense mm. somehow what it's been my dream, what I wanted to do when I was a kid. It's the reason why I started, you know, doing it as well. Yeah. One motivation was I didn't just want to be an amateur. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be like, oh, look, I'm a professional now. Yeah. So that was one of the reasons why I did it. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it seemed like a perfect opportunity. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of time to think. And I, I spoke to my dad, who's also my coach. And uh, we've worked together all of his life. And I was just like, look, it's... It's it's the it's time for the truth now, mm -hmm, to, uh, which is my nickname. I thought it's, it's time to go out wow. and uh, show everyone what I'm all about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's great. Okay, and so so far you have been doing that. You are currently two and zero. Oh, and so, which fight of your two fights have you performed your best in? I'd probably say my last fight. Mm -hmm. I think the the first fight, obviously, I was trying to over impress, mm -hmm. and I was you know lashing big wild wild shots stuff like that um you know desperate to get the obviously i was desperate to get the winner put on a good performance because i sold quite a lot of tickets um and obviously everyone were counting on me sort of thing but the second fight i was like look i know i'm good enough i just need to relax settle down into my boxing and just do my thing mm -hmm. so i feel like the last fight i was a lot better mm -hmm. and I'm, i've been training really religiously now and um, I'm actually now I've just currently turned over full time because these last two fights I was um, working a full time job as well yeah. uh, but now I can train a lot more seriously I was already serious anyway yeah, yeah. but now I can now I can really give it a good go and I can it's the sky's the limit I can see what I can actually do now I can train twice a day three times a day instead of just once a day you know, I've, I've had quite a lot of preparations for this third fight that's coming up in November mm. and uh I'm ready now, to be honest. Mm. I'm, I'm really excited for this one because I've got just under five weeks, mm -hmm. or about four, four weeks, just over four weeks, um, to, to really even push. But I'm, I'm ready now, but I'm really looking forward to this one now. 
That's great. And it's, yeah, it's good to hear that you aren't working full time as well, and you can like kind of do that as a main thing. I know a lot of fighters who are working and they find it tough to be able to juggle everything, but it's good that, especially so early in your career, that you're able to just be able to focus on on boxing. Yeah, well, that's it. Like, I've, I've never had this, had this opportunity before, but now I've got my own gym. Um, we've got, I've opened up my own gym uh, called Ministry of Boxing in Armley, and um, you know it's local. I'm a, I'm a local lad, and it's just this this opportunity that I've uh, set up for myself, and also with a massive help from my dad as well, who's also my coach. It's like this just is a great opportunity for me to grab with both hands, which I've I've done that, and it makes sense for me to do this now. And also, I can give a little bit back as well to the community, mm-hmm. to the local community. I'm 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 looking at becoming a a qualified coach and That's also great. a qualified personal trainer and it mm-hmm. it fits me perfectly does that so mm-hmm. it's, if i can give stuff back then i'm also i'm doing my bit as well mm-hmm. no, so that's I, I, i'm really really happy for that and i'd love to do that mm-hmm. that's great it's it's good to see that you are wanting to of course give back because of course if you ever make it big as a boxer you don't want to forget where you've come from and it's good yeah. to see that you're giving back already yeah, that's it. So I'm, I'm, it's, it's really exciting times for us now. Um, you know, team, team Wisher, we're, we're, we're looking to do good things. Mm-hmm. Great. Okay. And so, am I right in saying that your fight, the upcoming fight, did unfortunately have to get pushed back a little bit? Yeah. It was just unfortunately, I think it was something to do with um, they give you so many days to put all the names in or something and. Just unfortunately, just one of those things. It were we're a few days out, but this November show is. I'm pretty sure it's nailed on. Mm-hmm. Um, I've got a, a, a slightly different opponent. Mm-hmm. I'm coming down slightly in weight. This fight's at uh, eleven stone ten, mm-hmm. rather before it was at twelve. Because mm-hmm. I've realised that I'm not. I'm not as. I, I'm. I'm big. I'm six foot two, but I'm not carrying the weight as much. Yeah. I, I'm, I've obviously got a fast metabolism. I'm training a lot, running. It's like. This fight is. We didn't want to go straight to eleven six because mm-hmm. it's a quite a big jump. So this fight was going to be. Is it, well, it's at eleven stone ten. Mm-hmm. So I, I think it's perfect for me as well. To you know, have a slightly smaller, smaller guy, and we'll be able to see what's what now. Mm-hmm. So it's all, it's all good. Mm-hmm. And so, are you feeling good about this weight? Yeah, I'm feeling. I'm feeling really good. I'm about eleven stone thirteen now, so I'm only a few pounds off that anyway. Mm-hmm. And I'm just. Yeah, just to, I'll have to cut a few pounds and uh, I'll be ready to go. But I've never, had a, I've never really struggled with uh, weight, mm-hmm. weight cuts. So I've always, so I'm naturally just light on my toes, mm-hmm. ready to go. Mm-hmm. That's great. That's definitely something that I'm sure a lot of fighters are probably envy of because a lot of fighters might have to go for big weight cuts and stuff like that. But if you're managing to be able to sustain your weight well and not like go up, up loads in between fighting that is a very good thing to be able to have especially early on in your career yeah that's it i know a lot of guys well majority of boxers they uh they do actually really really struggle mm-hmm. uh, they, they put quite a lot on as well mm-hmm. in a quite short period of time but mm-hmm. i've never struggled mm-hmm. i've always been i've always been slim mm-hmm. and just athletic and you know ready to go mm-hmm. that's great okay and so sorry that's all right that's all right Okay, and so, how much do you know about your upcoming opponent? Um, it's called. Oh, I can't remember his name. I have I have looked at him, but it's because he's um he's it's just got like obviously a foreign name. Mm-hmm. I can't remember his name. Z- Zulgis is called, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've, I've had a look at him. I had a look at him over the weekend, and uh, he he looks, you know, he looks all he looks all right. He looks mm-hmm. he, he he likes to get stuck in, and mm-hmm. he, he's. He's got a few. I don't want to give too much away, yeah, yeah. but if, if you if you want to search him, you can see what what I know what he's I know what he's going to do. He, he he likes to come forward and he likes to, you know, he likes to throw his couple of punches and uh, you can see he's throwing them with venom. And I think that'll suit me to be honest. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of these guys when they're really tight and tucked and going away, sometimes it's hard to break them down. Yeah, definitely. Um, but I feel if he wants to come and throw something back I can I can come back with my own counters and I think it'll suit me mm-hmm. and so for any people that might be seeing this and haven't seen you fight before what would you say kind of makes you interesting as a fighter um, 
I say a lot of things really. Uh, I'm, I'm tall. I, I wear my heart on my sleeve. I, I always give a hundred percent. You know, I'd never, I'd never go in there and taken and take. You know, I, I, I had defeats in the amateurs, mm -hmm. but I never. Oh, are we there? Yeah. Still there? Yeah. yeah. And I, I never. I never just gave up or anything like that. It was like, it would be a split decision. So like, mm -hmm. my losses were very close fights in the amateurs. Um, you know, sometimes it's unfortunate. It could be like, you know, uh, you know, everyone. If you know, if you're in the game, you know what it's like. It's yeah. if you go to someone else's show, it's, it's you're gonna have to really beat them to to get the win yeah. in the amateurs. Um, so yeah, I just I always give a hundred percent. I'm I'm clean living. I train. I'm very hard. I put everything into it because it's hard enough sport as it mm, is. I mean, definitely. if you're not, if you if you're not in it, a hundred percent, there's no. In my view, there's no point in really going for it. So I always. So that's why I'm excited. Really, I think, I think I've got hard punch. I think I'm very technical. To be honest, I'm not very well known. Mm -hmm. um, in the game, this, I don't have a highly decorated amateur mm -hmm. career like others do. I had. 25 amateur fights mm -hmm. I had a lot more wins and losses mm -hmm. so it's but as as a whole I'm quite you could argue I'm quite I was I'm not no I'm not inexperienced I've been in I know my way around the ring but I've not had like some of these guys have had 80 yeah, amateur yeah. fights 100 amateur fights it's but I've been sparring um I've been sparring some tough guys, some tough amateurs as well over time. So you know, na national champions as well, and um, just by just by doing that sort of sparring, it sort of gives me the confidence and the belief that you know, you know what, if, if things didn't happen over the past couple of years with the pandemic and stuff like that, I could have done something. Yeah. I could have I could have done something more. So that really, that's why I, I believe you know I'm learning on the job, and that's why I think people should should back me and follow me and. You know, Definitely. yeah, mm -hmm. great. And so that kind of links on to my next question of how far do you believe you can go in the sport? Yeah, um, I don't really. I, I just take things probably day by day, week mm -hmm. by week. I don't really. I, I'm I'm aiming high as possible. Yeah. I don't want to. But at the same time, I don't want to come to you and be like, oh, you know. Yeah. I don't want to say, oh yeah, I'm going to be a world champion with this. But you know, I think if you're if you're a professional fighter, that's got to be the aim. Mm -hmm. Like you, you want to be the best, best you can be. Obviously, the first step is winning your debut, which I did. You know, and just just keep winning, getting harder fights, harder spars, and just see where things can go. Hopefully, you know, you, you, I think you get out what you put in. So mm -hmm, definitely, I'm just I'm just going to go as, as well as I can, and you know, we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm, definitely, and so I'll leave it with this final question, which I always like to ask. You've got a little bit of a platform here. Would you like to shout anything out? Yeah, I'd like to shout out um, my coach, Philip Wisher. I'd like to shout out the Ministry of Boxing. I would like to give a shout out to all of my sponsors um, for, for their support um, and all of my uh, family and friends who've literally supported me from day one because without all of you people, these the small hall boxing can't, can't really go mm. ahead, so thank you to you to all of you and, and also thank you to you for having me it's been a, it's been a pleasure mate and i'm sure maybe a bit further along down the line when you're fighting for some maybe titles we can come back and do a return interview oh yeah 100 percent. that'd be great mm -hmm, thanks a lot yes all right okay well if you are new around here and you haven't yet subscribed please do so like if you do need like video and thanks for watching